Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Stay Creative Your County. In today's episode we are going to be using a library card to create an abstract painting. That's right, a library card. Now this library card was graciously donated to me by my sister Jessica, so thank you very much. If you don't have a library card hanging out, you could use a old gift card, an old credit card. You could even use a rectangular piece of cardboard or styrofoam. It's up to you. So what you're going to need for today's project is going to be some paints, a library card, gift card, credit card, a paint palette, and something to paint on. I'm going to be using a canvas that I got from Michaels. So I wouldn't recommend this to be used with your now current and beautiful library card from the York County Library, but you can always find something else to put in its place. Or maybe you do want to use it. Just remember, we have to be able to scan the barcode. <laughs> okay, friends, I'm not showing you the painting. We're going to get into the video and you'll see what I create. Let's go. So for my painting, I decided that I wanted to keep a limited palette. I decided to go with a very light lavender, a navy blue, a goldenrod, and a white color. I wanted to make sure I had a combination of light and dark colors. So I'm going to take my card, dip the small side into the paint, and then press that into the canvas. I played around with keeping the angle of the card to the canvas larger, so further up, or putting it down more. So as you're using it, maybe test out and see what angle creates what different kind of paint stroke. Because it's rectangular, I decided to keep the rectangular form. I'm not swirling it around, I'm just pulling from the top to the bottom or from side to side. I am overlapping some of the colors to see how that would react. And also, if you're doing this, you might want something underneath your canvas. The dust that I use is just my work and craft dust, so I don't mind if it gets paint on it. I tried mixing some of the yellow with the blue color to create kind of a muted green. And then with the white, I went into spaces and dragged some of the paint into those blank areas. I also noticed that I had it oriented portrait and now I have it more like a landscape. And as you're messing with these abstract colors and shapes, you may use your card for small strokes like I'm doing in creating small rectangles of color. You may even try to curve or to pivot on one point of the card and create a fan shape. I decided I also wanted to make some lines at some point, but for now I just wanted to go in with the blocks of color. I am scraping my card on my palette, but you could use a paper towel if you like. Now I'm using the edge of the card to create some lines. I felt like this looked like a cityscape and wanted to suggest that these were one solid form. And I'm just messing around, dragging some of the paint down from that line and applying my final touches, but I think I'm good to go. And there is my painting. And there we go. We have a painting that is created with a library card and paint and a canvas. And that was it. I don't have it over here because there was a lot of paint on it and it is still drying, but I will of course have before this a few shots of the finished product. So what are you going to do with your library card? Is there any kind of crafts or art that you can do with it? 
I do plan on having another video where I use the library card with watercolors instead of acrylic paints, so stay tuned for that if you're interested. So until next time, friends, do put in the comments if you would use a small piece of plastic like that for a certain craft or art. And again, until next time, remember to stay safe and as always, stay creative, York County.